Well, Joe Biden may not always be inspiring, charming though he can be, but his wife Jill says Americans have to vote for him anyway. That's her message. You don't like him, vote for him anyway. Lisa Booth is a senior fellow at Independent Women's Voice, and she joins us tonight to assess this pitch. Hi, Tucker. Lisa, it, are we overstating this to say that Joe Biden's wife is basically telling voters, I don't care if you like him, I don't care if you agree, vote for him anyway? I wouldn't say it was a strong endorsement, but I'll let you and also the viewers at home take a listen for yourself. Listen to this. Your candidate might be better on, I don't know, health care than Joe is. But you've got to look at who's going to win this election. And maybe you have to swallow a little bit and say, OK, I sort of personally like so-and-so better. But your bottom line has to be that we have to be Trump. Yeah, so I, I wouldn't exactly call this giving Democratic primary voters the hard sell. I mean, she's essentially saying, <laughs> look, you may hate my husband's policies. You might not even like him, but look, we've got to beat Trump. And that's really been the argument of the Biden campaign. We saw it in the first ad that he is running now in Iowa, uh, as well as what Joe Biden just said there is, look, he's the most electable candidate. But that argument is like basing your candidacy on quicksand. Because right. his lead right now is certainly not insurmountable. If you look at the head-to-heads, Sanders is not that far uh, behind him in the matchup against President Trump. And if you look at the first two, uh, the first two contests in Iowa and New Hampshire, his lead's not that big. And in New Hampshire, he's within the margin of error. Interesting. So, in other words, if you build your entire campaign on the idea that you're going to win, the second it becomes doubtful that you're going to win, everything collapses. Exactly. And I know you've got Richard Goodstein coming up. He made this point as well earlier on Outnumber today when we were on together. And what he was talking about is even if you look at the ascension of Elizabeth Warren right now in the polls as well. So this is not a strong argument for Biden's team to be making. And it really, the, his arguments seem to be twofold about his candidacy. One, I was vice president to Obama. And his ad talks about Obama and drawing that correlation. And the two, I'm the most electable. And we talked about yesterday about that first uh, comment about Obama, we've got President Obama right now who reportedly tried to encourage him not to run in 2020 and certainly encouraged him to not run in 2016. So I don't necessarily know if that's the strongest argument to be making either. A little weird for a man running on the Obama legacy not to get Obama's endorsement. Right. And he's not endorsed yet. He says he's not going to endorse. And also, I think Joe Biden's argument sounds a little bit about what, like what we heard in 2016 as well. Listen to what Oprah had to say. You don't have to like her. Mm -hmm. You don't have to like her. Do you like this country? I hear you. Do you like this country? Mm -hmm. You better get out there and vote. I love you. Right, and we know that Hillary Clinton failed to bring home states like Wisconsin, Pennsylvania, Ohio. So I do think you want Democratic primary voters to like the candidate. I do think you want them to be fired up. You want them to turn out for your candidate. You want to get that base fired up. You want them to be passionate about your candidate. And that really seems to be lacking with Joe Biden. So he may be up now, certainly not insurmountable. And I would not be surprised if someone else passes him by here in the next couple of months and certainly maybe the next few weeks. But you never know. I mean, as, a former, coal, as a former coal miner, you know, who's come under fire well, in as many war zones as he has, he's a tough man. He, he has a lot. He's out. had a lot of jobs, Tucker. So he it's a very interesting life. <laughs> <laughs> a man amazing. of mystery. <laughs> it's amazing. He can sell beer. Uh, yeah. Lisa, great to see you. Thank <laughs> Thanks, you. Thanks, Tucker.